And now I would like to invite uh, Mr. Sudarshan Ayerger. That's right, thank you. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, Chancellor of Gujarat Vidyapi, the university here. Thank you very much. He's going to make some remarks uh, on uh, the address of Stephen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Namaskar. मैं अंग्रेजी में बोलने वाला हूं पर मैं समझता हूं कि हम सब थोड़ा बहुत अंग्रेजी समझ लेते हैं और जो कुछ मैं कहूंगा आप समझेंगे दिस इज फॉर अवर ऑडियंस एंड आई विल बी स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश आई ओनली हैव सेवन मिनट्स आफ्टर सिंस वी आर लर्निंग लेट एंड प्रोफेसर स्टीवन रॉकेफेलर हैज गिवन अस वेरी कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव अकाउंट एंड फिलोसफी एंड वर्किंग ऑफ द अर्थ चार्टर द प्रपोजल टू वर्क इन फ्यूचर and i know that we need some open discussion and therefore i i will not try to spend more time but you know how professors are and i am warning therefore uh, mirian that she will stop me when i am exceeding my time and i will be obliged i just want to start this by a shloka in sanskrit which reads ishavasyam idam sarvam yat kinchit jagatyam jagat तेन त्यक्तेन भुंजिता मा गृधक स्विधनम वॉट एवर देर इज चेंजफुल इन दिस एफर्मल वर्ल्ड ऑल दैट मस्ट बी एनवलप बाय लॉर्ड वॉट एवर इज चेंजिंग एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी एब्जॉर्ब बाय द लॉर्ड एंड वी आर ओनली हियर एट हिज मर्सी बाय दिस रिनंसिएशन सपोर्ट योर सेल्फ the message for humanity is clear by this renunciation support yourself not indulgence do not covet wealth of others don't look at the crude reserves of gulf countries now let me start with another quotation from gandhi in 1916 addressing the conference of economists because all this problem has been created by my community and i owe the responsibility completely gandhi said in 1916 frankly and truly i know little of economics as you naturally understand it only the other day sitting at an evening meal a civilian friend deluged me with a series of questions on my crankism as he pro proceeded in his cross examination i being a willing victim he found no difficulty in discovering my gross ignorance of the matters i appeared to him to be handling with cocksureness worthy only of a man who knows not that he knows not to his horror and even indignation i suppose he found that i had not even read books on economics by such well known authorities as mill marshall adam smith and a host of other such authors in despair he ended by advising me to read those books before experimenting in matters economic at the expense of public he little knew that i was a sinner past redemption my experiments continue at the expense of trusting friends but there comes moments in life when about some things we need no proof from without a little voice within us tells us you are on the right track turn neither to your left nor right but keep the straight narrow way to our minds earth charter has to internalize this otherwise we are in trouble for gandhi economic progress is material progress and real progress is moral progress the moment we do this we get into trouble but i am glad that we have a tall economist coming to help to us the name is amaratya sen and he says i would like to argue that the deep questions raised by ethics related view of motivation and of social achievement must find an important place in modern economics but at the same time it is impossible to deny that the engineering approach has much to offer to economics as well and why did this the engineering approach come go back to renaissance 
and what you really find is Martin Luther's reformation was that the notion of moral law I am going to be telegraphic because of short of time Martin Luther's reformation was with the notion of moral obligation to fulfill one's duty in worldly endeavors an honest day's labor for winning bread for the family was no longer considered bad in fact worldly activities and material rewards resulting from industrious behavior as a sign of divine predestination the protestant work ethics evolved from here wherein the hard self-denying work and worldly successes were equated with virtue profit does cease to be a dirty word but then we have this formulation by Mr. Lubbers who gave us a nice formation people planet profit and then he also added prana the other Greek or Latin word I missed but prana is what I have caught on because it's very Sanskrit and then we also had this formation by Stevens who says that in this earth charter we are talking about the world is talking about social environmental economic issues in sustainable development and he wants to add the earth charter would add global human and ethical consciousness interesting the moment you do this sir you are out because it's not hard engineering you have become you have opened up the whole thing and it cannot be analyzed and if you are not Baconian in your approach and you should now listen to what Bacon had to say not only that he contributed on the inductive part of it proof positive for which we are all after and economics wanted to be the science science means that is hard that can be proved the term which Bacon advocated his new empirical method of investigation were not only passionate but sometimes often vicious nature in his view had to be bounded in her wanderings bound into service and made a slave she was to be put in constraint and the aim of scientists was to torture nature secret from her it would be wrong to say that every scientist thought Bacon as Bacon did but nature no longer remained a sacred thing perhaps it came to be established at a general level scientific inquiry tended to become value neutral and thus labeled as objective I think that this is the central problem and that is why the civil society is rising to talk about something which is more holistic but this kind of reductionism which has taken economics for you you are always going to debate with these economists on objective grounds it is easy on social economic and environmental because it can be numbered weighed and measured if you don't do it you are not wanted that is where our problem centrally is and let me tell you that we ourselves are corporates we ourselves are government and we ourselves are also the civil society the Christian sins of gluttony pride and greed have now come because the profit at one time was justified in the work ethics it's a long evolution and therefore there is a need for paradigm shift and if earth charter is talking about this paradigm shift which our old man Gandhi was trying to do here is the link because he brought this back in Hindu Swaraj and I would recommend our earth charter friends to actually give a reference in its earth charter document to Hind Swaraj the document which he produced the book he wrote in 1909 the name is Hind but it can also be called as the human Swaraj I would recommend that everybody should read this small little book and they will find that that perhaps is a precursor to this earth charters document it's interesting a little terse but I think it's interesting that we should read we have to inform the world that this hard engineering approach has to give way and what is holistic is also scientific because essentially when we began this discussion we said that there are three sets of problems problem of human being with self problem of human being with human beings and therefore the problem of human beings with nature the disturbance is all at the three levels and the solution to that is 
thanks to this reductionist objective approach we think that the solution lies in the structures and systems and therefore it is good to regulate create structures create pressures create lobbies create alternative structures to regulate the individual human being difficult sir gandhi is trying to tell us regulate yourself that has to be the beginning unless you begin the regulation within yourself your relationship with others is not going to be established well therefore the fourth p the prana has to come therefore the prayer has to come because that is how you will your inner self is informed so the first it is not people planet and profit the equation has changed it is profit planet and people last profit first and from whom from the planet and people trickle down effect you ask all my good economists they will tell you so profit from planet and trickle down effect people leave people back no sir put first prayer the prana in the people and then go to the planet and then take whatever profit you want that is earth charter i think we should get into this earth charter this is the central point and let me i mean i can go on on this but i don't wish to do that but i will tell you that we are in a way in 1920 gandhi thought that when i am thinking on this line i must have an educational institution and therefore he called this that educate through education this is education for sustainable development is this you have to train your hand you have to train your head and you have to train your heart unless you have educating heart and hand and head you are not educating you are giving the kind of information and the knowledge for informed choices but what is the choice the choice is determined by a world which is of hard engineering that's not on therefore you have to first inform you have to inform through that nice song it touches the heart so the heart has to be developed vidya peet follows this what gandhi called basic education nayi taleem buniyadi taleem which said that you have to do this kind of training of hand heart so you have to wash your clothes you have to do your homework yourself don't employ machines and get involved in some productive work therefore you require khadi the thing that i am wearing i i hope that this looks all right i don't need any computer or machine designs in this this is all hand spun hand made hand thing because it is the most eco friendly because hand is a renewable energy weaving through hand is a renewable energy i am using a little wood which is renewable energy everything is this is most eco friendly cloth i am wearing i am not using any electricity so gandhi becomes relevant earth charter becomes relevant we just have to start living simply and i think the time is up Thank you very much. I will not go on for a second, but if there are questions I'll be happy to respond. And those of you who are interested in a larger article please let them have their emails. I will be happy to email my article to you. Thank you so much for this opportunity and please visit Gujarat Vidya Peet. This is a small commercial. It is in the town. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much Mr. Sudarshan.